Michelle, I've got to tell you, this is a much different Smokey than we saw even just a few weeks ago. And as new mom says, even before they met this morning, Smokey just knew that today was going to be a different day. Right now, they're both on their way to Arizona. They're on a plane, and Smokey's got a yard waiting for him. But most importantly, he has love in his future. I think that's Where? Smokey. Smokey draws attention as he arrives at Dayton International Airport. It's his first time out of the shelter in four months. It's a huge day for Smokey because, as I said, he's been in isolation and literally behind a door that had isolation written on it. Um, only two people have been allowed to work with him because of his bite history and because he was given up for euthanasia. You may remember the violent act that thrust Smokey into the spotlight back in August. You're a good boy. His fear Born owners Chastity Elliott and Robert Prophet beat him with a baseball bat and ran over him with a car. They said he'd bitten a family member. Smokey survived, only to face euthanasia because of his biting history. And with that news, our viewers spoke out, and so did animal lovers across the country. Because of their donations, Smokey is now headed to Tara's Babies, a dog sanctuary in Arizona run by Buddhist nuns. Thanks to donations from people through Facebook, we have a yard built for him already um, that's quite a large yard of chain link. He has a cedar uh, cabin, little doggy cabin with deck ready and waiting for him. It will be his lifelong home, and Kunzong Droma will be his new mom. What a good boy. I will treat him like he's my baby. Smokey will be able to play, run, go for walks, and will be fed and loved every day. It's what so many have hoped for him. Smokey will leave his past behind and move on. Nothing bad's going to happen to him ever again. You know? Wish I could say that for every dog. Happy ending for Smokey. Jolma says she applauds the Greene County Animal Shelter for allowing Smokey to go to his new home and not only have dozens of private donors come forward to help Smokey, Continental Airlines donated the air travel and Ramada Inn in Xenia gave Jolma a free room for the night. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.